So in today's video, I'm gonna tell you why I prefer the Logitech Combo Touch over the Apple Magic Keyboard. I already did a little preview of this on my channel already, but I think I've had it for a bit longer, so I wanna expand on why I think the Combo Touch is better. Let's go. So if you like videos like these, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, appreciate it. Now let's get on to the video. So why do I think the combo touch is better than a magic keyboard? All right, so there's, um, let's see how many points we got. We've got four points why I think the combo touch is better than a magic keyboard. So first thing, and the most important thing for me is flexibility. The combo touch, you can detach the keyboard, you can um, have a greater range of motion in terms of laying it back. Uh, with the stand it has, that has an amazing stand. It reminds me very much of the Surface Pro line um, in terms of the keyboard and the way its um, hinge works. I mean, it's pretty obvious that Logitech, let's just say, copied them, but I think they did a good job in copying them. I, I, I don't think, um, I think that's what Apple should have done really, to be honest, because uh, I really appreciate the flexibility because it allows me to draw, then type, then watch stuff. Um, yeah, I think that's number one reason. Second reason, protection. The Magic Keyboard offers zero protection on the sides. Really, the Magic Keyboard it offers zero protection. The Logitech Keyboard at least protects the side. It's actually, it's actually good material. It's quite um, grippy. So if you have the stand open and you're using the, and you're just like, you place on things, it has good grip to it doesn't slide around and of course it has full protection and even a little bit of a lip um, just in case it was to fall flat on its face. For me that is a no-brainer protection wise Apple dropped the ball they should have given a keyboard case with protection. I don't know how they're not doing that especially for that price. Third thing so this one is a bit of a let's say a tie Right, so the Magic Keyboard, typing experience wise, is really good. It's actually one of my favorite keyboards, to be honest. But the Logitech Keyboard is not bad. It's, you know, I would say it's a bit behind, to be honest, just to be really honest. But it's not like terrible, it's just like right behind it. So if like the Magic Keyboard is like a nine, I give the Logitech Keyboard like a eight. So for me, that's good enough. That's good enough. I, I'm not doing crazy amount of typing personally on the um, Logitech keyboard. Um, so for me, it's good enough. And also, just uh, as an aside, the Logitech keyboard actually has function keys and I actually didn't think I would, you know, really appreciate them, but I really do. I mean, it's, it's got a lock, it's got the um, keyboard backlight, it's got um, the screen brightness, which is quite good, uh, play, pause, and that kind of all the media buttons. Again, Apple dropped the wall you should be putting this in your app, in your um, hardware. You know, it's, it's, it's your, you're the first party. Anyway, I've already mentioned half of this one, so this is point number four, and it's the adjustable stand, um, which kind of lets you go pretty far back, so you can get a nice range for drawing, and bring it up, keeps, and you can bring it upright, so you can get different viewing angles for when you're watching stuff. Uh, it makes the, um, the keyboard very versatile, like I mentioned before. Uh, this, this last point is that, for both of these keyboards, they have one problem with, to me, which is weight distribution. Um, I think it's worse on the Magic Keyboard, but it's not great either on the Logitech Combo Touch. And when I say weight distribution, it just means that the Magic Keyboard had to make the keyboard very heavy to balance out um, the weight of um, compared to the tablet. And the Logitech went a different route and there, keyboard is not as heavy but it just doesn't feel necessarily right because even with the to be fair the Logitech combo touch you can't really hold it like a laptop or anything like that and lap ability you know typing on your lap is is subpar I would say that is where magic keyboard is actually better than Logitech combo touch um, yeah it's 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 really yeah, and that's where it struggles a lot, combo touch, because typing on your, typing on your lap is, I would say, a 
it's, it's subpar experience. I wouldn't want to do that for a long period of time. So that's really my conclusion. If you're on the market for a keyboard for your iPad Pro, I think you just have to ask yourself, how much typing are you actually planning on doing? If you're planning on doing a lot of typing, and I mean like a lot of typing, like you're a writer or something like that, the Magic Keyboard maybe does make sense for you because their typing experience is better. It's better on the lap. Uh, not much, but it's still not great because that can tip over too, but it is better, I would say, overall when you're typing on your lap. However, if you're typing here and there um, and you kind of want a case for your iPad Pro, but it's not a case, and they're adjustable stand to be honest. I use the adjustable stand without the keyboard a lot. Um, probably that's my default. So having that adjustable stand to me is kind of invaluable. It's way better than all these other um, iPad cases with that kind of flip triangle magnet thing. Yeah, I would definitely, personally for me, I, I admire the flexibility. As I said in the beginning of the video, flexibility was my number one thing I wanted because I like to draw, watch some stuff and then occasionally type, it's not the main focus. So I would go, as I said, with the combo touch, and I really hope that in the next Magic Keyboard, Apple goes with something that's a bit more flexible, way less heavy. I mean, that Magic Keyboard is oppressive. The, the weight is too, too much. And then you combine it with the weight distribution. Um, and this is for the 12.9, to be fair. The 12.9, I, I don't know how anybody uses that. That is, a, that is terrible. It's terrible. Um, I'm actually going to make a video on that too, so look out for that video. Um, if you found this helpful, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. It takes a moment for you, but it means the world to me, and I'll catch you in the next one.